Tires of news. This is first of news from Red Wolf Group. We're presenting the new EEG from Airsoft Systems. This is Mr. Vladimir from Airsoft Systems, and he will tell us a little bit more about this new product. As far as we hear, it's a completely new system. Yes. Can you please tell us more about it? Okay, it's um, an M4. Yes. Which uh, I have designed. Uh, during the past year, and uh, I have designed this gun purely as an ISO player, and uh, I wanted to put in it everything that it's in my dreams to have as an airsoft gun. So basically, it was uh, as let's say the airsoft in the industry called uh, PT double features. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I wanted to have those features using standard uh, Marui type of parts. So basically, it's more or less completely, more or less completely compatible with internals as far as version two gearbox goes. Yes, actually, let's start from the cylinder, cylinder head, piston, piston head, mm -hmm. nozzle, uh, gears, gears okay. motor. They are standard. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can use the same springs. Uh, yes, yeah, standard spring. So, but the spring guide is not standard. No, no. Actually, it has a, a, a new design of split gearbox, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, allows quick access uh, to change the spring. So you don't need to tear down the upper cylinder, the, no. the upper part of the gearbox. No, no. Okay. Yes, you can take the cylinder out, mm -hmm. but you don't need to take it out to change uh, the spring. Uh, exactly. Okay. And uh, also, we have designed a new trigger system, uh, which actually. Uh, mechanically copies the way uh, the real M4 trigger disconnects. So you have actually the mechanical sense of the breaking point mm -hmm. and the reset of the trigger. Okay. Uh, also, uh, when the BBs in the magazines are the magazine empty, yes, it will stop shoot. Okay. And then uh, you have to put a fresh magazine uh, for the BBs. You have to press the bolt catch. Mm -hmm. To, dis to disengage the, the lock and then yes, and this this will do with standard Marui magazines. Wow! I don't know if we can take uh, any Marui magazine to go work inside. Uh, also, what is uh, a nice feature is that on Marui guns, when you pull the bolt or just the hop up, yeah. it moves that much, mm -hmm. just enough to open the, the lock. This one moves all the way back. All the way back. Okay. So it has a stronger spring and uh, the feel of a uh, real action. Yes. Great. So you have to, you had to design a completely new hop-up unit? Uh, yes. Uh, the hop-up unit is new. And uh, the electronics now, and the MOSFET, it's yep. all inside the gearbox. So the stock tube is completely empty uh, for battery. Mm -hmm. And the stock tube it is not an uh, AEG type. Mm -hmm. It is gas ball back type. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's you empty more from, from here yeah. all the way to the back. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you put uh, 1,300 uh, milliamp plus uh, 11, 11.1 lapo, it fits inside and you can close completely the stock. Great. Great. So basically, you built a very nice rounded package. What, sh what do you expect it to retail for the end user? We don't know the exact price, but of course we have an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to be somewhere between 400 to 450 US dollars. Uh, which, let's say, if you put it, it's not a uh, cheap gun, but it's not also an expensive gun. Yes. But it is a good value for money because out of the box, it comes with all internals that can easily handle M150 spring, okay. so you don't need any mechanical upgrades. It comes with the electronic and MOSFET, uh, with the empty magazine detection feature, mm -hmm. and we're pretty sure that it will come with a rail system. Great. Will there be other lengths and uh, yes. features? Yes, actually, uh, uh, step by step, we're going to release about six models. Six models. Great. Yes. Uh, different barrel lengths, uh, di different rails, different stocks, uh, silencers, uh, a lot of kits. 
and also we have some surprises later. Will the serial numbers be unique on the... Uh, yes. Okay. Could you break it up and show us the internals? Yes, of course. I'm going to need some tools. Okay, this is the lower gearbox, mm -hmm. standard Marui gears. Uh, it's a uh, that's the the, the the computer and the, the MOSFET. Mm -hmm. So all the electronics. This is the the heart of the electronics. Yes. Okay. It has uh, all features that uh, there's a smart control unit has. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the cylinder, which of course, if you want, you can take out, mm -hmm. to change the thing, but. There is no need. Is there a ball bearing? The end? No? No. no. We can have one. Mm -hmm. Just uh, on the prototype, uh, this we wanted to make as fast as possible. Yeah, so it was not mandatory to have one. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, yes, we're going to have it with the ball bearing. Excellent. Does it, so this unit electronics have a so safe, semi, two-round burst and fully automatic? Actually, it's a standard selector. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you can choose uh, the mode of the full auto, what to be. It can be either a standard full auto, mm -hmm. or can be three-round burst, mm -hmm. or can be semi. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the combined feature with the, uh, that we have on the Airsoft Smart Control Unit where you, when you tap it, it's uh, first yeah. and when it goes off, it's not going to be here. No? Nope. It's only real firearm modes. Okay. So basically you will have to choose which kind of a trigger unit you will have or will it be programmable? It's programmable. Okay. Will the end user be able to program it themselves? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. Wow. Uh, the, the same way that there's a smart control unit. Uh -huh. He can do it on the field. Okay. For example, let's say if he, he plays a standard rifle version with M130 spring, mm -hmm. and at what point he wants to dis uh, decide to, do, to make it a DMR, mm -hmm. he can easily remove that pin, change the whole upper. Yeah. And only the, the upper, he can take the cylinder and switch yeah. it to the new upper, put a new spring, and program it to semi-auto only. Will you be selling just upper receivers or yes. complete guns? No, we are going to have complete guns and upper receivers separate, different lengths. That's, that's what I would call complete modularity. The thing is, okay, uh, maybe sometimes products are made in a way with the thinking how to make profit higher. Usually profit is uh, make it made higher by uh, pulling up the wholesale price mm -hmm. and bringing down the manufacturing costs. Yes. Uh, here, it's uh, the concept is totally different. I want this as an airsoft player. I want this to be the perfect airsoft gun as a player. And the things that I hate that uh, sometimes. Uh, companies making just uh, to improve their profits or they're, they're to sell you something that after that you need to spend more money to upgrade it. I don't want to do that with Airsoft players. Yes, this is good. So I understand this gun will not be branded by any other brands. It will be okay. usually it will brand we, Airsoft we, systems. We as Airsoft systems are going to sell it as with our brand, with our markets. Yes. But for example, uh, as uh, let's say Red Wolf, they have a license for stock arms, and they wish to sell it as a license copy. We are going to only for them to produce it with the license uh, markings, mm -hmm. and not we. They are going to sell, to sell it with those license markings. But we, as a, as a company and manufacturer, we, we are going to sell it only with their yeah. license markings. Basically, we're not going to see copies uh, having cold trades or no. something like that, unless cold was approaches it. No, if, uh, let's say, if a uh, distributor of ours wishes for them to have it with trademarks, we are going to, only for them, manufacture it with, with those trademarks. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, if uh, 
Apple orders me uh, a couple of thousand uh, pieces with uh, uh, stack arms yeah. logos. He's going to give me the exact specification of sizes, type of logo, mm -hmm. even how deep it should be engraved, yes. serial numbers, and we are going to manufacture those units only for him, for Red Wolf, yes. and he's going to ship to them, and he's responsible for that sales. So basically, there will be many options possible, but it will play out according to the market wishes. Yes. Great. Vladimir, thank you for taking your time in this lovely Red Wolf booth. Um, thank you for every, all the information. I wish you the best and hope to see a sample for testing soon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Arisab News from Red Wolf from Eva Nuremberg 2012. Thank you.